Hey, here's Tom and welcome to a new Sin Anatomy video. Today I want to talk about Endorphins Shuttle Control. It's an advanced USB to MIDI to CV converter for the URAC format. As you can see here, I have here a very small modular system with the REC boot 3U with Endorphins photo generator. It's a complex oscillator. Then the terminal, which is a um, envelopes, LFOs, VCA solution. Then you have here the black hole DSP with a multiflex processor and the shuttle control. And the shuttle control is much more, more than a simple MIDI to CV gener generator. You can put out here 16 different um, signals. So we have 16 channels and it goes behind CV and gate. So of course you can send out CV gates for creating sequences, but you can also root out triggers for drum sounds but also envelopes, LFOs, MIDI CCs, and much more. And what is here very convenient, the Endorphins shuttle control uh, doesn't need drivers. So you can plug it in your PC, Mac, or iOS device. For example, I have here the iPad. And in this video, I want to show you also how you can work with the iPad with the shuttle control. Uh, what is nice, the developers have released an editor on the website. So you can always change the different presets and you can store also presets inside the device. And on top, the device has also a system internal PSU, so you can also connect different models on it. So it has a power supply. Then you have on the main, also here a host system. So you can put also a nice bike, a keyboard or, the, or MP instruments like the Seaboard. How do you connect now the endorphins a shuttle control to the iPad. You need the CCK adapter, so the camera kit connection, um, camera connection kit, which is a bit expensive, but I uh, really say please buy the original one because otherwise you buy twice. So you need this one. If you have now the new iPad, you need uh, only USB-C um, help where you can connect the uh, Endorphins shuttle control directly in. I'm here on the Lemur interface. And you can see you have here the 16 different channels. And what is important first is in the Lemur, you need to set it up. So you go into more settings and you need to uh, change the MIDI settings here to shuttle control in and shuttle control out. Then we go out and then you load this template, which is available in the user library of the Lemur. And then you get this interface with the 16 different um, channels. And if you press, for example, on channel one, then you see the different um, functions of the shuttle control. You have here pitch, triggers, aftertouch, different LFOs, taps, e even cowbells inside, then pulses, velocity, triggers, sign VCOs, and much more. And so I put the channel one, which is here the yellow one, is my gate and the white one, the first one is here, is my um, CV or my pitch one volt to octave connection, which goes directly to the photo generator. And this one goes to the terminal. And of course, if you have done this, you do the first two channels, you can write the preset and then it's fixed and it will work. Then I go in an app like here the MIDI sequencer, which is a nice little sequencer with advanced features. And inside this, you need to change the MIDI settings, also settings to the shuttle control that you can, that the sequencer send out the MIDI to the shuttle control. Then you, you program your sequence, for example, and then we can press on it. And you hear the sequence. So nothing's um, special, so it's um, classical from MIDI to CV. And what is here super handy, what I said before, you can also create um, beside CV and gate, also MIDI CCs or other signals. And for this demo, I created an entire signal flow here with uh, different MIDI CCs. 
because the sequencer can also put out MIDI CC sequences, what is very cool here. Um, for example, the green one here, this is channel 3, this goes in the shaping section here of the further generator, so in the modulation. Then the, the blue one here goes also in a, in a wave shaper of the further generator. Then the red one here goes in the parameters 2 CV of the black hole DSP. The, this one here goes to the decay of the terminal. And the last one I have here, or the red one goes, as I say, to the black hole DSP. This one goes to the terminal. And a very last one goes to even one more further generator wave shaper order to the main wa um, wave shaper which is put in f on further what we can do now in the sequence is we go to the cc's and then you have uh, up to 16 different lines that's even more than available here on the interface um, then we go to controllers and then i have mapped here the first sequencer line to the modulation one so cc1 then the, the second to the CC3, the second to the CC40, and the four to the 14th CC. But you can then, you can change them as you like and you can map it. You can also change the CCs, that's not a problem. What is now cool, You're, you can run the sequence, but you can also change the parameters. For example, I run now this sequence here. <laughs> Here now on the CC1, and then you can change the parameters. Same for the CC, the second line, you can also change here, which goes, as I said, to the second one here, to the second wave shaper. So I played now a bit longer with the patch and I decided to change the effect of the black hole DSP and add some different uh, MIDI CCs 
So I change a bit the sequences. And so let's check out the result now. And of course, the Endorphin Shuttle Control will work with any other MIDI apps on the iPad, for example, TC Data or ModeStep and many more. And I will show you more in the coming weeks and months. And this MIDI CC is only one part of this module because the module can do much more. As I said, you can add envelopes to it, you can LFOs, you can physios and much more. And you can put maybe only three MIDI CCs, then uh, some LFOs, some envelopes, and also or up to eight voice polyphony here possible. What is actually not possible with my system, but you can use up to eight voices, what is very powerful here. And you see the Endorphin Shuttle Control offers you a lot of features. So please let me know comments below um, if you have some questions about it. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Big thanks for watching, and I will see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!